Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Advanced Financial Modeling Building the Core Model. Thus far, we have finished now the balance sheet after we have completed the cash flow statement. Our next task is to build so going the back to our debt suite. Here's the analysis that we'll say. Walmart has needs a short uh, needs some cash of five point six billion dollars, but they have cash on the books. How much cash do they have on the books? Recall that number was something like sixty four fourteen. So in theory, they can use all of the excess cash that they have on the books to fund this shortfall. But we don't want to do that. Why? Because we need to maintain cash on, on the books for working capital purposes to fund your day-to-day -day operations. So if they need it for working capital purposes, then we have to specify an amount of cash that we must leave on the books at all times that will reduce the available cash that they can use. We would then have to incorporate the fact that they have to pay additional mandatory payments. So let's go ahead and wrap some of these numbers in from the balance sheet. So I9 on your debt suite will say equals. Control page up twice to the balance sheet and you will navigate yourself to cell H9 on the balance sheet. Again, I9 on the debt suite, you will say equals H9. And the way we look at this is to say as follows. Of this 5664 shortfall, we can fund 100% of that purely through the cash on our books. So in cell I10, I want you to type in negative 6,000 and you notice that's a blue input there. Negative 6,000 because we want to say at all times maintain at least that amount of cash on our books. Really that means we only have $414 to make up uh, to use for our uh, 5664 number. Mandatory payments, cell I11. What I'd like you to do right here is just to leave this blank. We need to come back and uh, wait until we finish and input our mandatory payments from our debt footnote and then we'll come back to the cell I11 and fill that in. So what I'd like you to do now is to please go to cell I12. Go to cell I12 and hit the Alt equals keystroke. This will now give you the sum of the amount of cash that you need. And in this case here, we need $5.25 billion. This number, as I mentioned before, will skyrocket to just around $10 billion in a short little while. So what I'd like you to do now is to go to cell J8 and select J8 as well as J9. Go to J8 and J9 and then hit Control R. And in cell J10, you will say equals left arrow. And in cell J12, you will say control R. Now, of course, as we've done numerous times by now, you will go to J12, select J12 through J8, and you will go control R, shift right, control R, and just please take a second to verify your numbers and do indeed match the numbers that I have on the screen here. And of course, you also notice in cell, in row nine, you have a lot of zeros because we have not yet uh, incorporated those numbers into our balance sheet or from our balance sheet. So. Now, what this tells us is this row 12 tells us that this is the amount of cash that we need to raise. So what I want you to do is to actually go to cell H17. 